hello guys and welcome to a brand new video so today i'm going to start karakai jozu no takagi-san season 3 or skilled teaser takagi-san season 3 this is episode number one my reaction to it and uh, i'm going to react to it every week as it comes out and this will be uh, one of the shows that i'll be reacting to this winter 2022 Okay, uh, Skill Teaser Takagi-san or Karakai Jozo no Takagi-san, I have al like, already watched season 1 and 2 before I did YouTube since I like, you know, avidly watched anime. That's why obviously I, I am not able to react to them because I've already seen them. But season 3 is here and I'm ready to get into this. And uh, if you guys have been following my channel, uh, you'll know how much I love my slice of life uh romantic animes you know like these like these shows are just, like one of my favorites for example uh shows like um uzaki-chan uh, nagatoro these type of shows which kind of focus on like one male lead one female lead you know no unnecessary side characters just two of them normal like you know everyday life slice of life just normal stuff and uh, yeah i love them and takagi is i think takagi was the pro probably the first anime which kind of got adapted uh, i'm not sure but i feel like you know like you usually like you know quite a few years ago we did not have these type of animals that the way these type of animals are kind of coming out these type of slice of life you know uh, uh rom-com animes that are coming out they never used to come out like this i think takagi kind of started this whole thing of like one male lead one female lead slice of life that's it you know and i think more more uh, started popping up like uzaki nagataro you know like they had mangas but the animation adapt anime adaptation started popping up and now we have a lot of them a lot of are coming out in the future as well like my dress up darling um aharen san i think i think yeah it's also having an anime i'm not sure um a few others as well uh i don't remember but there are quite a few of them that are coming out and i'm really oh uh senpai ga uzai kohai no hanashi or something like that i already watched that you know these type of animals which are like focus on one male and one female and yeah i'm i'm i really like these type of animals and you know like i'm, I'm glad that they these are getting the recognitions that these deserve so yeah takagi-san you know season one and two fantastic um uh, very like you know light-hearted um you know uh, what do you call it uh, very cute you know uh, that type of a story very heartwarming and uh, yeah let's see what more you know how takagi teases uh nishikata i think that was a boy boy's name yeah uh, how more ways uh, takagi teases nishikata in this season and yeah <laughs> let's get started so anyways um i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started with this uh, video all right so here's the countdown three two one go oh my god what's he doing now self-study wow everyone's sleeping oh okay the True. <laughs> well. <laughs> For example. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> crushing apples. <laughs> well, it's good to have, you know, like, good, good to have more strength. Like having no strength and having strength, always I'll choose the latter. Okay, let's see the opening. Wait, what the hell? Why was the apple censored? What was that? <laughs> okay. Is this Takagi's voice actor singing this? Hideo um, Takagi is Megumi's voice actor, isn't it? I feel like... 
feel like it is her voice actor singing this. It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Spying on them. Okay. I really I'm I really hope they have some, you know, advancement in this season. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, what's with that apple? Like it it is being shown from the beginning of the Okay. The, I, I remember none of their names. <laughs> My own amusement. <laughs> Challenge? <laughs> okay. You're going to get tired sooner or later. I'm sure of it. There you go. Oh, it's increasing. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh my god, she's getting faster. <laughs> oh, she stopped. <laughs> um, no. Oh, she wants that? Oh my god. No, that's not for she Oh my god. <laughs> He's going to play himself. She actually wanted that thing, I think. Oh, maybe not. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's what she was doing. <laughs> oh, uh, the previous season, I think. Yeah, the festival that happened. <laughs> he gets transported <laughs> into his flashback. Oh boy, you have an active ima imagination. And he's a kid, obviously he'll have an active imagination. What am I even saying? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, is he, is he asleep or something? I think he fell asleep. Oh my god, he's dreaming. What's happening? What? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Which one? This is oh, none. <laughs> yeah, obviously he's dreaming. Wait, what's happening here? This is wild. What's happening? Is this the first episode? Uh. 
Yeah, that's how dreams are, you know, like you, you see one random thing after the other. Um, wait, what the, wait, wait, wait. This episode is... <laughs> Who is this, Holmes? Oh, okay, never mind. Hmm. <laughs> okay, wake up. Enough. Wakey, wakey. Yeah. Oh my god, he, he's actually at, he was at home. Wait, was he dreaming the whole thing? What the hell? Oh my god, he was dreaming the whole thing. The whole thing he was dreaming. I thought it was part, oh, okay. So even in his dream, he wasn't able to win. Wow. <laughs> That's some next level stuff. Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Ten. Oh, okay, ten. Waiting in the shadows. Yeah, he's kind of tanned, yeah. Do but <laughs> um <laughs> Oh boy. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh. oh. Oh yeah, okay, he, she might. Okay, she already did it. Never mind. Okay, there you go. You lost again. <laughs> I noticed his eyebrows are kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> it's now that I'm noticing. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, he always needs some kind of a... <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Ah! Yeah.
<laughs> He's still thinking, okay. Well, obviously he won't be able to... Because there is no reason. Oh my god, he's going to... Yeah. No, you figured out nothing. <laughs> Go slap him back, his back again. Wait, what? Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, she's walking in front of you. Like I said the real <coughs> straightforward, <laughs> yeah, obviously. Um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank God he's not that dense because I've seen a lot of <laughs> a lot of main characters. Who are still unable to understand, even after, you know, they say it in front of, of their face. <laughs> uh, these, these kids, uh, I don't remember their name. My god. Wait, what? Oh my god. <laughs> That's definitely not a gentleman. <laughs> How old are you? These kids. Wait, what? <coughs> hmm. Everyone was out. Oh. <laughs> okay. Rhinoceros beetle. What the hell are you doing? That's not how you do stuff. <laughs> Wait, what? Really? Really? This combination never came into my mind. Cucumber with honey. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> oh my god, the beetle is quite happy. Stop. New semester. All right, summer vacation is over. Time to go back to school. Hmm. He already has it in his hand. What? What is that? Ah, oh, a jack in the box. Okay. 
<laughs> oh my god, I remember. I'll talk about it later. <laughs> okay. I remember, like, I also got scared of a jack of jack in the box for the first time. Like, it was the worst scare of my life. Dinosaur. Yeah, he himself said Jurassic or something. Yeah, what what does do you think? <laughs> well, he's a kid, like. Oh, okay, yeah, he knew it, Kyoru and Dinosaur, okay. All right. <laughs> the surprise factor is... <laughs> the surprise factor is gone, so obviously she wouldn't be scared. Okay. Put it in front of his face. <laughs> okay. What the? It has... It has light effects as well? What is this? What? Wait, what's happening? What is this? Some kind of delusion? What is this? Another dream? Yeah, it is a dream or something like that. Oh, this must be Takagi's dream. I think so. She said that I, I want, like, and I also wonder if I'll get to see you in a dream or something. I'm sure this is Takagi's dream. Whoa. Oh, yep, it is Tagi's dream. And she falls down from the bed. Wakes up. Oh, never mind, she doesn't fall down. <laughs> there you go, it was her dream. Wow, the trick us two times. Like, this also was a dream and I didn't realize that. There you go. <laughs> oh my god, I, I wonder if he'll bring a jack in the box. <laughs> That'll be funny. Oh yeah, he has the tan. He didn't have the tan before. That shows this is the real, okay. It is a jack in the box. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's how much predictable he is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he she did lose in the dream. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, that's the end, I think. Okay, let's see the ending. <laughs> is that a wolf and a rabbit? <laughs> uh. This must be her voice actor singing. This must be Rie Takahashi's voice. I think so. Both, so both the opening and the ending is sung by her? <clears throat> okay that is this any uh, after credit scene no i think yeah i don't think there's any after credit scene yeah there's nothing all right that was the end of the first episode okay um wow a great uh first episode um now i loved the fact <laughs> <laughs> that almost half of this episode was actually the, a dream not a dream but two dreams two separate dreams i love the fact and they like you know made it in such a way that even us viewers weren't able to kind of figure it. we were able to figure it out at least like you know by the middle of it but before that i wasn't able to figure out like the first instance where uh takagi and nishikata is in school and you know like nishikata is doing the thing um the the hand exercise or whatever you call it uh you know he was doing that and takagi was as always teasing him and <laughs> like that from that moment onwards it was a dream and like i doubt anyone would have been able to guess that because that was a very normal thing happening but from like you know that moment onwards after like you know st stuff starts getting weird is like when you know takagi like you know grabs her hand and he gets transported into like the like you know in the festival this that like you know weird stuff starts happening that's when we realize that oh this is actually a dream so like the whole thing thing was actually a dream so wait so <laughs> so this and this third season actually starts with a dream like the beginning thing from the beginning scene it was a dream because the school was not open still <laughs> wow what a what a way to start and <clears throat> the funny fact here is even like it was actually uh nishikata's dream and even though it was nishikata's dream he wasn't able to win in it you know because <laughs> he he is not accustomed to winning at all so obviously he lost you know in the little game that they played like you know like uh takagi counting one two one two and <laughs> him actually like you know trying to keep the pace up and yeah then then like you know as we see the weird stuff happens in dreams like you know i'm sure everyone is accustomed to it and this dream was wild i don't know what nishikata like you know thinks about all throughout the day because his dream was wild it, it was it was not stationary at all like, you know, the way it continuously changed scenes and changed stuff, like, that was, that was very, like, you know, like, he has, he has some active imagination, I have to say. Like, I don't know what he thinks throughout the day, but, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, first, the, the whole thing with Takagi in, in the festival, then he suddenly gets transported in school, and he sees, like, his friend sitting beside him and then takagi drops into the swimming pool and out comes like the like you know god of the lake or whatever like is this the takagi you dropped or is this the one you dropped <laughs> oh my god and then like you know suddenly like weird some like i don't know some manga characters start popping up you know like it's weird and then takagi turns into a cow 
you know, in a cow costume and he turns into a sheep and then there's like like dude like <laughs> calm down <laughs> your, your imagination is very wild like i don't i've not seen anyone dream so many things at the same time before <laughs> my god okay and uh, <clears throat> yeah then he wakes up and he's like oh this was a dream and i even lost at a dream <laughs> And here's like in small little details that we see here is that, for example, the next uh, part in this episode where Takagi and Nishikata are interacting, we see Takagi, uh, not Takagi, uh, Nishikata having a tan, you know, which is kind of like a small little detail, um, you know, they, which in the scene after that, where we see, uh, you know, like the last scene where Takagi is again dreaming, not Takagi, yeah, Takagi is dreaming this time. We see him, like Nishikata, without any tan. Like these small little details, you know, like that probably, like, you know, like if, like, you know, that probably would have given away that, yeah, this is actually a dream because he doesn't have that tan. Because the next scene when uh, Takagi comes out and sees Nishikata, you know, IRL face to face, we see that the tan is still there. So, you know, like in her dream, the tan <coughs> was not there. Like these small little details is nice that you know like these things are actually <laughs> like you know like kind of shown <clears throat> okay anyways um okay the the thing that i was talking about uh the middle scene where <coughs> where uh takagi and nishikata is like just like you know hanging around uh, again it's takagi comes up with like a game she's like guess what uh, why i called you here <laughs> like half of it Nish Takagi was uh, Nishikata was able to get it's like you came here to just mess with me and obviously the half he wasn't able to because it was just that she, and I'm sure she just wanted to hang out with him and obviously he wouldn't be able to realize that but in the end you know like he realized that thank god because as I said at that moment when um, Takagi said that guess what the other half is and Nishikata is like oh wait so she just wanted to spend time with me you know that scene i've seen a lot of characters in anime who even like you know even giving that amount of hint they they're so dense that they aren't able to understand what is happening they'll be like <laughs> i've seen i've seen quite a few characters like this you know like they're so dense so dense that even if you come in front of their face and say that you know what you know like uh, like i've got feelings for you he wouldn't be able to fact like you know realize that he's so dense you know, I've seen quite a few characters like this, and <laughs> thank God uh, Nishikata is not someone like that. He was able to at least, you know, understand when told in front of his face. He is dense, but not that dense. You know, like not anime character level dense. <laughs> so, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, that was that. And then we see the other friends as well like, you know the, the two male friends and the three female friends i don't remember their name i'm none of their name, names i remember i do remember the the uh, the girls the three trio you know um them in first season and second season as well i do remember them um i think they're, they're basically kind of uh i don't know like curious about takagi and yeah yeah i think that's what is up with them they, they're just curious about takagi and nishikata's relationship i think it was something like that and they have their own like, like you know little uh, like things that they do and that they show us like for example here we see them thinking about like what is going to happen if the tan like you know like if we get wrinkles and we can we become grandmas or something <laughs> they started doing weird stuff like uh, dipping uh, honey in melon and oh uh, no sorry dipping honey in cucumber or something no dipping cucumber in honey my god what am i even saying uh, Dipping cucumber in honey and stuff and all that. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, the next scene is the, 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 that was the final scene where, you know, the whole dream thing starts again. And again, they kind of tricked us here. You know, like I, at least I wasn't able to realize that it was a dream unless and until uh, Nishikata, uh, not Nishikata, Takagi opens the jack in the box. And like, you know, like it's the fireworks starts popping off. I'm like, wait a minute, what is happening? 
and then I realized, okay, this is another dream. And this must be Nish- uh, Takagi's dream because she said something about like uh, having Nishikata in her, her dream and all that stuff. So yeah, obviously in her dream, she thinks that Nishikata is going to confess to her, but yeah, <laughs> I'm sure that's probably going to happen in the future, but not definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> in the upcoming two or three seasons I, I, I doubt that's going to happen it'll probably take five seasons or something you know five seasons after that maybe even after this maybe like in season eight or season nine or something you know maybe takagi is finally going to uh, not Tagi, sorry nishikata is finally going to con- confess or something i don't know <laughs> but yeah okay anyways um so yeah that was that and then she wakes up she goes out and as always takagi with his jack in the box now like, this kind of reminded me of something you know like uh, i was as i was saying like in one of like you know one of my childhood like you know memories i remember that <laughs> like there's like a <laughs> i didn't know about jack like I, I was very small at that moment i was like a, a child or something i don't remember my age or you know like there was like this is a cylindrical box or something like <laughs> i remember i think one of my friends pranked me you know like brought it and like gave it to me and said something like i don't know like some candies in it or something they said i opened this it was a cylindrical box i opened it and popped out like <laughs> a thing which even made sound like that was a terrifying part like the the thing popping up is okay but it making sound is the more terrifying part and i was just a child at that moment i freaked out <laughs> and then i remember like i was like wow this is such a cool thing thing you know like i also need to buy something like this because i also want to prank you know like um, my other friends or something i thought something like that but i never ended up buying it or something i don't know <laughs> yeah it's a weird like you know like i do remember that like it, it shocked me so much that i still remember it <laughs> oh boy jack in the box fun little things okay and yeah and that was the end and in the end nishikata kind of uh, not nishikata so itagai kind of says that i do want him to tell like you know whatever he told me in her, in his dream i do want him to tell it in in front of me <clears throat> and yeah it's kind of funny to see like you know like how different people's dreams kind of differ for example uh, we see nishikata's uh, dream it's hyperactive you know like like this is happening that is happening like, you know, like weird stuff, this, that, that kind of shows how his Im- imagination is so active and how he is like, you know, always trying to, uh, like, you know, <clears throat> you know, like tease Takagi back, but unfortunately he uh, isn't able to. Like his mental, il- il- like, you know, like thing is it- it kind of structured in that way that even in his dream, you know, he isn't able to defeat Takagi in her own game and like you know it's hyperactive this that is happening it's like weird completely and like that shows that it is uh nishikata's dream that is nishikata's dream while in, in takagi's case it's calm like you know quiet it's like happy like you know like fireworks is popping off and like you know in, in like a nice little place where cherry blossoms is blooming uh takagi uh, uh not takagi nishikata confesses something to her and she is obviously she isn't able to hear that and that shows how she like you know how her structure and structure of her brain is like she she wants nishikata to like you know confess to her but obviously she knows that it's probably going to happen way in the future <laughs> that's why you know the confession doesn't actually register in her head you know like it's like there's no sound when he confesses because he, she does know that it's never going to happen now probably in the future sometime so yeah like like it's interesting to see like you know like that was basically their inner structure of their brain how they see the outside not outside world but how they you know their personalities differ and everything and what they want of the other person (laughs) anyways um yeah and that was it a cute little first episode just like you know like just like how uh, skilled teaser Takagi-san is this is a cute little episode uh, great start to the first uh, season now I do know that I think like the, the manga has like some 200 plus chapters or something I'm not sure and I do know there is another manga uh, which I have seen 
where it's basically nishikata and takagi like you know when they're adults and they have they have already ma- married each other and they have like a kid or something you know like and it's like i think the manga is more focused on the kid uh, takagi and nishikata's kid where <laughs> the little girl tries to <laughs> tries to i think i think tries to tease her dad or something something like that yeah the, something like that it's another cute like you know manga i do wonder if someday that is also get, going to get an adaptation because i would love if that also gets an adaptation like such a wholesome like you know manga and i'm seeing currently that this author i don't know the name of the author who does like you know this uh, karaka jozu na takagi san this author has a few other uh, you know mangas as well i think two or three more mangas uh i don't remember their name there's like this one manga with a ninja a ninja girl yeah there's another manga where uh i think it's kind of the opposite where the boy is very stoic while the girl tries to do something i don't remember i've not read them properly i kind of skimmed past the first chapters you know and i do know that those two are also getting adaptations probably in the future so a lot of uh, like you know the authors um works are getting adaptations so i really hope that the sequel that takagi san has where both of them are adults and they have a kid that hopefully that also gets an adaptation in the future i really hope that happens i'm sure it will happen because this show is quite popular so yeah i would love to see that so yeah so that's it guys like the thing that i really like is that as i was saying like you know like the their future is already it already has a manga so basically what's happening is the the original manga where their kids is still ongoing it's still ongoing none of them i don't think anyone has confessed to each other while it's still ongoing the author really did not like you know <laughs> stop she, like you know they basically made another manga where the confession is done they're basically married and this is the thing that i really like about it it's like you don't have to actually wait you know that they are eventually going to get married in the future you know because it already has a manga but you can just like you know kind of be happy reading this one which is a prequel to it you know which is the main manga and you know you can just like happily just read it knowing that yeah eventually they're going to like you know get together like that's what i really like about it it's like you know like it having like a sequel manga where they're basically like married and everything <laughs> So yeah anyways um so yeah that's it so that's my reaction to the first episode of Karakai Jozu no Takagi-san season 3 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out okay one thing i want you guys to know like i'm sure those people who are watching uh, this video now um they probably like slice of life animes and stuff um i also have another slice of life anime that i'm going to react tomorrow it's it's probably going to come out tomorrow that reaction uh which is uh dress up my dress up darling uh, sono bisco doll wa koi wo suru which is also getting an adaptation so if you guys are interested in that as well be sure to check out uh, my channel tomorrow because i'm going to post a reaction to that as well uh it's also another slice of life you know uh, uh anime it's very nice i i've read the first few chapters of that manga and i can guarantee you that it's very good uh my dress up darling so yeah i'm going to start reacting to that tomorrow so yeah if you're interested you can you should check it out with me so anyway so thank you guys for watching again and i'll see you guys with another new episode of karakai jozu no takagi san season 3 next week uh same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day